Lupisi mirrors any remote village. Resources are scarce and opportunities few. Most youngsters destined to a life of poverty. Richard Mabaso is a son of Lupisi. He toiled the soil. But he did a different call after he got to know about the menstrual struggles of his teenage niece. It developed into the Caring for Girls initiative. We know that there are more girls who are coming from child-headed families. Some are just raised by their grannies who are only earning just enough to buy a bag of millimil uh, mil as well as um, their staple diet, which is literally almost nothing. I had to say to myself, I need to do something about this situation, but not only for this village. Mabasu is one of few men who have taken up this female cause. Providing basic sanitary wear for needy girls was the initial goal. Now in its seventh year, the Caring for Girls initiative has snowballed and is actively changing lives by assisting them financially with a tertiary education. There's a multitude of success stories. 22-year-old Shaladin Sabia was one of the first beneficiaries. Through the initiative, she was able to pursue environmental studies. I was very excited about graduation and I thought of Richard. And I said to myself, this is one person that didn't have to support me, but he supported me throughout. Shaladin is a rape survivor. Mabaso's compassion has helped her to forgive. And seeing him risk his life over and over again going to climb Mount Kilimanjaro just humbles me. It restores my hope that if there's such men in our country, it means there is hope. The goal is to reach 2 million girls by 2020. Julian Pillay, SABC News, Lupisi Village, Mpumalanga.